Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of linear relationships. This is standard 8.5c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 53 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different graphs. We don't have any X and Y plotted for us. Uh, we could, you know, we could look at them and we can kind of uh, list those out ourselves, but we don't really need to here. We need to look at these scatter plots, and there's going to be two words that are going to be very important for us here. First, looking for this linear relationship, so that's going to be important. Uh, we're going to break down what that means. But take a look at what word they chose here, suggests. So that's kind of a, a lighter word than shows or demonstrates. So suggests means it could be, but maybe it's not. So it's almost like estimate or approximate, but just with a graph. So we're looking for something that kind of hints at something. So that's another word we could use here. It hints at a linear relationship, but it doesn't have to 100% be one. All right, so what is that linear relationship? Well, an easy way to look at that is just to see what word is hidden inside the word linear. And you see that word line. All right, so a linear relationship is one that looks like a line or looks similar to a line. And so there's two different equations that we've been using that show us some linear relationships. So we've been using the slope-intercept form, right? So this is our slope-intercept form. This shows always a linear relationship. And then we've also got direct variation. And even though it's k in one, it's m in the other, both of those are slope. The only difference is whether or not it goes through the origin or not. So this direct variation does not have that extra y-intercept. Uh, so it goes through the origin. Slope-intercept does not go through the origin. But you notice here that we've just got a single variable on the right side. It's not squared or anything like that. There's no exponents. So that's going to show us a linear relationship. So let's just see if we can draw some trend lines. Because even if we didn't necessarily see this word line in linear, we could also just use process of elimination. We could figure out what we're looking for because there's one of these that does not look like the other. So let's look at A. So it looks like we've got this little curve up here. It goes up, and it kind of goes at that way. Uh, so if we really wanted to, it looks like it would probably kind of extend up that way. But it looks like an S. So remember, we're looking for a line. Uh, and when it says line, we're not looking for a curved line. We're looking for a straight line. So this is technically a line. It's just a curved line. So we're definitely probably not going to use that one because it's got a curve. Take a look at this right here. Um, when you get two like this, you try to kind of just go in between. So you're looking for what's probably going to be a good estimate between the two. That definitely looks like a straight line, even though you've got you know, two different x-coordinates that matches this three right here, two different y-coordinates that matches this four right here. Looks like a pretty straight line. Looks like we've got kind of a curve on this going through the middle here. A C. Kind of goes up and back down. Uh, so that is more of a slope. That's got a curve in there, but it kind of flattens out a little bit, goes down. It's kind of weird. And then this has got nothing. I mean, this, you, you can maybe try to do that, but I don't even know if that's the the best way to do it. This is this is kind of strange. They're not tightly packed enough, so I'm not even sure where we are on D. So even if you don't look for the line in linear, you see one of these is not like the other, and it is our answer. B is the straight line.